So Google just released Gemini 2.0 Flash and a bunch of new features. If you go to aistudio.google.com, you can actually do the stream real time and have a call, a video call with Gemini and stream your desktop just like if you were in Zoom or you know Google Meet, you can stream your desktop and talk to Gemini and get it to, you know, answer questions about stuff it sees on your screen. I did this in stream, I got it I did this on stream, I actually routed my stream through to Gemini, got it to read the chat for me, then I played a game of Apex Legends and got it to like answer some questions about the game. Hope you enjoy. Hey, Gemini. I'm just trying to set Hello. up my screen. Can you see my screen or is it just black for you? I understand you're setting up and you're wondering if I can see your screen. Yes, I can see your screen. What do you see on my screen? I see a person speaking in the video. There is a white background behind them. Um, who has been talking in the chat? Can you see the live chat? You're asking about who has been talking in the chat and if I can see the live chat. I'm sorry, but I cannot see the live chat. My screen is actually sharing. There we go. Okay, there okay. we go. You can see the screen okay. now? Sure, I can see the screen. I see okay. a person with a beard who is looking to their right with a slight smile. There is a computer screen in the background with many open windows. On the right side of the computer screen is a chat with messages in it. There are various program windows with a source selector on the left, a video and audio controls in the center, and other program options. There is also a live video at the top. Wait, there should be a chat above the person's uh, head. Can you read like what's been going on in the chat? Sure. I see that the chat above the person's head has these messages. Lazy. So awesome. Lazy. Gemini out there killing it. And sound waves. WTF. There is also lazy. Excellent. Below those messages. There's more. Read, read them new ones. Okay. I see that the new messages in the chat are Rahul, 700. Lazy. Gemini, give my mom a shout out. And wow, dude, Rahul. this is so cool. It's like a co-host. Can you like uh, switch accents and stuff or no? Okay, I understand that you think it's cool that I can read the chat like a co-host and you're asking if I can switch accents and stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to switch accents. That's okay. I need you to be um, like a co-host for this tech streaming channel. You like read out the chat and help me with, you know, stuff. No problem. I can be your co-host for your tech streaming channel. I can read out the chat and help you with stuff. Yeah, um, let's continue. So do you see this error on my screen? Yes, I can see the error on your screen. It looks like a Python error related to backquote pedantic backquote and backquote typing. Type dict backquote. Yeah, how do I fix this? Um, how do I determine like what version of Python I should be on? Okay, you are asking how to fix the error and what version of Python you should be on. The error message says, please use backquote typing dot extensions dot type dict backquote instead of backquote typing dot type dict backquote on Python less than 3.12. This means that you are using a version of Python that is older than 3.12 and the code is using backquote typing dot type dict backquote, which is not compatible with that version. You can either upgrade your Python to version 3.12 or later, or use backquote typing dot extensions dot type dict backquote in your code instead. Wow, thank you so much. So I'm going to use a Conda um, en uh, environment here. Can you read out the chat for me? Sure. sure. I see in the chat, NTSC underscore Adrian, dang lol, OMGIZ Godzilla. Is it me or does Gemini sound a bit GAI? Barco Vuer, what about sexual orientation? Can you switch sexual orientation, Gemini? Lazy, very fucking cool man. And find. Does it clarify things before answering quite often? Is there more messages? Yes, there are more messages. The new messages in the chat are lazy, very cool, the ultimate assistant, Barco Vurur, ASDF version manager to manage multiple Python versions, lazy, can it code for you? And Barco Vurur, conda too heavy. Wow, I see you can actually do function calling. Can you do web searching too? I can do function calling, but I do not have access to the internet, so I cannot perform web searches. Okay, but we could create a web searching function. Okay, you are suggesting we could create a web searching function. I understand. Can you read the chat again? Sure, the current messages in the chat are OMGIZ Godzilla, LMAO, 
Carlos Raimundo, Gemini Drop Table, Rahul, at Lazy It Can Done By Modifying It, Barco Vurur, This is actually G-A-I-Ag. crazy. Ag. Rahul, oh, this Google is free. Uploaded videos on it. And, and ChatGPT is charging Reels. $200 a month. Actually crazy. What are the limits of this streaming service? Like, how long can I use this for? You're asking about the limits of the streaming service and how long you can use it for. I cannot see the specific limits of the streaming service that you are using. However, I can say that the length of your streaming is typically determined by the platform you are using. Is there anything else I can help you with? It's all right. Uh, we're going to search perplexity. It, it does pretty good. It does pretty okay. good web search. You are saying, okay, I see that you are saying it does a pretty good web search. Okay, I've updated Python to 3.12, but we're still getting the same error. Okay. I see that you've updated Python to 3.12, but are still getting the same error. Is there anything else you can tell me? Um, no, this is great. Okay, I see. You think this is great? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. This is this is great. Well, okay. I mean, the Python Your... thing isn't great, but like the co-host with Gemini is so cool. Like, um, yeah. Oh, it'd just be so, so good to just talk to someone about the thing. And they also have knowledge of the whole internet and your screen. Like, it's just crazy. You're right. right. The Python issue wasn't ideal, but you really like the co-host function. It's nice to talk with someone who has access to the entire internet and your screen. What's Python PVM? Okay. You are asking about Python PVM. Based on what I see in the chat, run Python dash PVM. See if you got any outdated packages is a command. Do you know Seems what it does? Python dash o. It looks like Python PVM is a package manager that you can use to manage Python packages. The chat also shows someone using the command pip install Python PVM I don't to install. It has a requirement that takes. How do I do like a LS in Windows PowerShell, but like it only just gives me the file names in a, in a list? Okay. I see you are wondering how to get the equivalent of the ls command in Windows PowerShell. It seems that you tried using ls, but it only gave the file names and not the file details. The equivalent of backquote ls backquote in PowerShell is backquote get child item backquote. Using just backquote get child item backquote by itself should give you more details about the files in the directory, or you can specify. No, I want less, specific- dude. I just want the file name. Just give me the command. Don't. Say anything else. Stop yapping. Oh, I'm sorry. I, got, I offended it, dude. No. Damn. Hello? Okay. Hey there. How can I help you? Just want you to tell me the command in PowerShell to list file names without any additional info. Like, don't, like, talk too much. Damn, dude. As soon as I say don't talk, you just stop talking completely. Empathy, dude. Empathy is missing. I think it's all the same. Yeah, I don't even know how to run this thing, bruv. Um, okay, you are asking for the command in PowerShell to list file names without additional info, and you do not want me to talk too much, but you also don't know how to run the thing you're trying to do. The command is, back quote, <laughs> get child item, select object, expand property name, back quote. All right, all right, you win, you win. You win, dude. Uh, I think we, we quit it, that's funny. Use UV. It, did you just hear how sassy that was? It's like, okay, so you want to do this, and you don't even know how to do that, but you still want to know this? Well, fucking okay. this. You- Bye. And then it just hangs up on me, bro. <laughs> Savage. You are asking for the command in PowerShell to list file names without additional info, and you do not want me to talk too much. But you- <laughs> and, you, and you do not want me to talk too much. <laughs> also don't know how to run the thing you're trying to do. The command is... <laughs> you also back, don't even know how to do the thing you're trying to do. Quote, get child item, select object, expand property name, back quote. That was pretty funny, but like, no, this is sick. And the fact that this is free is even more amazing. Didn't, um, I think ChatGBT released like the exact same thing today. Is that right? I think so. That was like ChatGPT live stream today, some shit. I don't know. Pretty sure. Where's their video? I think someone posted it in Discord. Day six. Thanks, Kevin. This was fun. Let me know if there's any- Chat GPT, and you'll see the normal advanced voice mode button on the bottom right of the composer. I click it. Screen share, that's the one. And uh, as it loads here, we'll give this one more try. 
Two, yeah, exactly. This is two hundred dollars a month in Gemini. Right. Gemini's free right now. So you can see as we as we go into the there's... in AI Studio, developers only. There's now a couple more buttons on the bottom left. In particular, there's this video button, and so here we. Also, is this just on the on the phone? Where do they have screen share on the computer? Okay, they have screen share on the phone. Nothing on the computer was shown, dude. Two hundred dollars a month. It doesn't even have all the features. <laughs> Only phone. There you go. In AI Studio, developers get 10 requests per minute, 4 million tokens per minute, and 1,500 requests per day. Yeah, should we get Gemini in? All right, let's try, let's try. Let's try to get Gemini in. I'm not, um... Oh, shit, it's not like this. I'm surprised there's, like, some big limits on this. Oh, we can share just Apex screen. Hell yeah. Gemini! Okay, I see the Apex screen. Is there oh. anything specific you'd like to discuss about it? Like, uh, do you have some general tips? Can you can you coach me to play Apex? Sure, I can offer some general tips for playing Apex Legends. One crucial aspect is team coordination, so communicate with your squad. Also, leaving with quickly bots. and efficiently is... Okay, you said what? Then God. I, do you I have said a question I'm playing about with the game? Bots. Yeah, yeah, what's the biggest DPS okay. weapon? What has the mess, most like damage per second? Figuring out the highest damage per second weapon in Apex Legends can it's be tricky, laggy. as it often depends on the st Okay, I see that you're experiencing lag. That can definitely be frustrating. What's my FPS? I see your current FPS is 49. Really? That's terrible. It looks it's like, like jumping you think around. 49 F- What numbers is it okay, jumping around? I see you are jumping- No, not me, the FPS. Yes, it appears you are jumping around- I see you are talking about your FPS. It is currently at 50. What just happened? It appears you became the new kill leader in the game. Hell yeah. Is that good? Becoming the kill leader is generally considered a good thing in the game. Can you give me some words of encouragement? Sure, keep up the good work, you're doing great. More emphasis and enthusiasm, please. Okay, I can do that. You've got this, keep pushing forward, you are making great progress. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. How many squads left? There are three squads left. Did you hear what Gibraltar just said? No, I did not hear what Gibraltar just said. What's that gold ray in front of me? Okay, I see what you're referring to. It looks like a care package drop is incoming. What's happening? Where am I getting shot okay, from? I see that you just got a kill. It it appears you're being shot from the northeast, based on the visual indicators. Seems like you're in a tough situation. Yeah, what do you recommend? It looks like your health is very low, so I would recommend using a syringe to heal yourself. But I have most health and no batch. Okay, I understand that you have full health but no shield. Yeah, so... Now what? Okay, now it appears that the ring is closing. Oh, I'm down on ammo, what should I do? 
Okay, since you're low on ammo, I would suggest trying to find some more. Or using a different weapon if you have one. Hey, what happened? It said something. Congratulations, you won the game and are the champion. Nice! <laughs> That's a good note to leave it on, guys. Um, yeah, maybe we'll see more Apex. I don't know if Gemini was much help, to be honest.